Here I have two ribeyes of scotch beef. Uh, but you can see straight away the size difference. The thing we're up against in the industry is that animals are not all the same shape and size. So we have to take in account of the size of the animal and the weight of the animal. And you can see here very clearly that one is almost double the size of the other. So if we were to specify eight or 10 ounce steaks from these, we would be getting a much smaller but thicker steak compared to a much larger and thinner. Um, the other thing as well is, if you're trying to uh, assess portions or portion numbers, and you're working from a primal of this size and shape, but then you start getting one or two of these being delivered, your numbers are way out. So it's important when specifying a primal joint, like the, the ribeye, that you use a weight or size in that specification to work from. So maybe it's just as simple as, I want ribeyes weighing three to four kilos each time, and then I know then I get X number of steaks from it. Um, but you can run into a difficulty if all your specification is on your order, I want four or five ribeyes. Um, you are looking for consistency in size and shape. And you can also see that this one, much firmer and solid to the touch, this one is a little bit more softer. This one is much leaner. When I come into this one, I'm going to come into larger pockets of fat. And that needs to be taken into account uh, when ordering. Let's just cut some steaks from these to roughly eight ounce ribeye steaks. But again, a great visual difference, which you can see from two very distinct ribeyes. So always important to specify as much information to your supplier as possible so you get the best end result. Uh, and keeping the consistency uh, throughout the product.